Hey guys, RC here, back with Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20, Season 4, Episode 2. We are at uh, Week 1 of the season, so we will kick off the regular season here. Uh, you can see from the screen, this is right where we left off, and as promised last episode, uh, which if you didn't see, go back and check it out, please. Uh, but we will be uh, picking up, uh, I was going to record right after, so i retitled the uh the raw video and hopping right into this and then i'll start rendering some stuff uh this will be going up next week tuesday maybe so i'm only a couple of days ahead of time uh anyway let's get into it so last episode we went through the draft we went through our depth charts uh we did extend a couple of contract offers to a few of the rookies let's um uh, Let's see who's free coming up on free agency this year. So we're actually losing quite a bit, about twenty million dollars. Uh, Vasquez, we've signed, we've extended him a new offer. Uh, Ruiz, have we extended him an offer? Yes, we have. All right, so he's good. Uh, fine, we've extended him an offer. I am pretty sure. Yeah, we did. It's only been a few minutes for me, really, since I did that, but I do forget. All right, Blake Jarwin, 28-year-old tight end. Tight end. So, speed, average, hands, good blocking not so good so he's more of a catching tight end and if we look at his stats he hasn't played in two years very much right i mean he played in nine games last year but he only caught five balls on seven attempts so honestly oliphant's taking his place i don't need him i'm gonna let him go early decision boom all right, Johnson, our fullback, strength and run blocking. Strength's okay. Run blocking is above average. Stats. Oh, man, he's from my alma mater. I did not know that. Who knows the fullback? We don't even use a fullback very much, right? If I had my way, I probably wouldn't use a fullback at all. Uh, let's look at our depth chart. Johnson. See, I could use Pollard there. So I don't really need Johnson. So I'm going to let Johnson go. God, that's harsh. Sorry, dude. You did go to Louisiana Lafayette, my alma mater. But I got to gotta cut bait here. All right, good one. 32-year-old corner. Hasn't played at all? At all? Nothing? Wow. Uh, speed is not very good. You're gone. Thank you. Uh, moving up to Schultz, another tight end. All right. Now, stats. You have started about half the games. You're probably my backup. You could be my backup because the other guy is, uh, what's his name? I don't remember. Oh, well. Uh, 31, 31 catches, 202 yards, one touchdown. He's got good speed. He's got above average hands. Again, I wish he could block better. Maybe, maybe I let him go too. Jarwin. Jarwin's the one I'm thinking about. Where, where did he go? Oh, no, Oliphant. That's my number one tight end. All right, where's, what's the deal with Jarwin? Uh, speed, hands. His blocking sucks balls. Jesus. I really don't like any of these tight ends. 
I think I'm going to let all my tight ends go. We're just going to go with receiver sets. I'm going to run a college offense with no tight ends. Now, I actually need tight ends, but God, these guys are all pretty, pretty horrible. Seventy three. I mean, Olafon at least can block. Speed hand. So he's he's my main guy. You know what? I am gonna let all those other tight ends go. We're gonna keep Olafon and we'll just rebuild that position. I may pick up somebody really cheap in free agency. I could pick up an aging veteran. I'm good there. I'm okay. Um so Jarwin's gone. Johnson's gone. Goodwin's gone. Schultz is gone. All right, let's get up here. All right, Wickman. A guard. He's got some strength, but it's kind of low. He can block, but he doesn't play. Hasn't started a game in three, two years. He's way down the depth chart, right? Yeah, he's way down the depth. In fact, I didn't I move him to my practice squad? I think I did. So he can go. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Fuck me. Schultz. There he is. All right. Damn. Hiding on me. He's like, don't cut me, boss. Don't cut me. All right. Uh, Randy Gregory. Defensive end. Speed, not really. Tackling, not really. And he doesn't play. Probably get rid of him. All right, Hill, defensive tackle. Tristan Hill. All right, strength, yes. Tackling's not bad. He's a starter, so let's go ahead and extend him. So he's making seven hundred thousand. Two years. Let's go ahead and do that. Two years at one point seven six. I swear to God, if these aren't even close to what they want, that's that. That's what pisses me off. And then the fact that I can't refer to what I've already offered them makes this so difficult. So difficult. All right, Tristan Hill. All right, Heath. All right, free safeties. What do we say here? Um, speed, speed, speed. And the other guy said Uh, okay, strong. This guy likes so one guy has speed, the other guy has strength and tackling at this position. So his strength is not very good. He does have good speed and he has good tackling. He is 31. He is a starter. 7 0. Oh, wow, that's a huge jump. Is he good enough for $2 million? I'm going to go 176 and we'll do front heavy. And if he doesn't take it, then we may let him go. All right, uh, strong safety. All right, Xavier, uh, who's this? Xavier Woods. So free safety, fast and agile. Well, he's not fast. He is agile. He 
doesn't play much. So he doesn't have the ratings that we that we want and he doesn't play. So why pay him any money? Probably shouldn't. All right, Pollard, running back. All right, running back, we like speed, some agility, good hands. So your, your strong and agile backs can evidently be the ones to break tackles. And this guy, again, I'm going off of what these other guys are saying. These are not know-it-alls, but these are guys that have played the game for a long time. So this guy's opinion is, is that on a running back, speed, good hands to be a receiving threat. Uh, it's rare to break big runs, which would be true in the NFL. You don't see 80-yard touchdown runs like you do in college every day. Um, but speed to get through the first tackle to the second line but he's also found success if you have a combination of strength and agility that these are the guys that can be more a little more prone to break a tackle or two and then gain a little bit more he then says the strong agile combination is a good way to go for him if you have weak run blocking so if you if you bolster your pass blocking over run blocking across the line then you may want to go make sure you have agility plus strength so we uh so we have uh don't have strength we've got some agility and speed he's not horrible uh hands are above average he averages four and a half yards a carry he's only 25 i'm not paying him I am not paying him that much money. So I'll pay him 171. That's almost a, you know, it's $800,000 pay raise. Take it or leave it. And I'll go draft another running back in the fourth round or something. Hey, Cat, you want to not block my, uh, come over here. There you go. I don't know if you can see that's turtle. All right. Yep. Get off. But I can't have you in front of my monitor, turtle. All right. Covington at linebacker. All right. Linebackers. We talked about them. So well-rounded, but tackling, speed, agility. He would be decent backup. Don't know. Uh, he does start. Don't think he's going to start with Chubb this year, but he could be backup quality. Uh, 1.24, he's asking 127, he is, do not go behind my flipping computer. Turtle. Get out of there, good God almighty. Going behind my computer. All I need him to do is go back there and spray my computer and short circuit that bitch. <laughs> I would... uh, so he's a prospect. Let's go ahead and submit that. I think that would be a good deal if we can get him at that price. All right, moving up. Brown, you're good. Jordan Lewis, I'm going to let go. And Fleming. Not a starter. He's a tackle. Strong. Now, tackle, they want strength and pass blocking. So, strength is good. Pass blocking, not so much. Uh, let's look at our depth chart. Cameron Fleming at tackle. Hello. RC, you got to close that window first. All right, tackle. Smith. Fleming. All right, let's go to roster. Tackle. So strength and then pass blocking. Yeah, Fleming's the worst. So, yeah, Fleming we're going to let go. Boom. Boom. 
that ain't what I want. But yeah, okay, that yeah. So that's actually good. So he does tell us that that is. Oh, I like that. Really. Oh, so I can look at just my guys here, and then I can look at just their. Oh. Hallelujah. That's cool. I like that. Instead of looking at everybody. Very nice. Very nice. So we're going to save him. We'll go with these guys. We got this guy down here. Younger. Yep. Cheaper. Yep. Like it. Okay, so we've done that. Let's get into the season. Boom. Week one. We're playing the Raiders. Boom. Oh. A one point loss in overtime. If we missed an extra point, I'm going to shit. Elliot, touchdown. Elliot, touchdown. Cooper from Prescott and a two point conversion. We went for two already, really? Okay. Not sure. What, oh, to make it a three point game. Which was a good call because they scored. That was at 244. Okay. All right. We got. Oh, my God. My kicker. <laughs> oh. The first game that counts and he misses an extra point. You bitch. Oh, I hate him. I hate him. 30 out of 45. Two touchdowns. Two picks didn't help out. 121 yards rushing, two touchdowns. Cooper, Knowlton, six catches. Only 34 yards, but that's okay. He got a touchdown. Nice. Oh, that was the one in overtime. Sweet. Red zone. Uh, Cooper, six for 90. Jarwin, Ship, Oliphant. Uh, speaking of, can I close you for just a minute? And can I go to you? And can I go to you? All right, Oliphant, Jarwin. All right, so Oliphant's in there. All right, let's check the emails. All right, we have a trade offer. Gary Ruiz signs our contract. Nice. All right, Mr. Fine, Mr. Vasquez, Tristan Hill. All right, so he wants more money. No thanks. More money. Don't care about those. Trade offer. All right, so let's go to the trade screen somewhere. Trade. Trade players. Right there. Tampa Bay wants Travis Frederick. They want to give us Zach Triner and a fourth round pick. Now, I cannot counter that, I cannot negotiate. So that's troubling. And I cannot look at this, guys. Okay, so let's go to Tampa. Right there. Can I look at any of their guys? I don't think so. All right, so then I'm going to need to go up here. And I can go to roster. And I can go to Triner. All right, so Triner actually is not a bad blocker. Center. Strength. Mainly strength. He is strong. He'd be a serviceable backup. Fourth round pick gets us a multi-year player. I think we could do okay with that. I think Frederick might be worth more. Now, this guy was undrafted. Six years. What's his contract look like? That's He's on a one-year $580,000 deal. Even offering him that would be a cost savings. Oh, I need to go back to here. Hello. Thank you. So he's not as good as Frederick, but he's a serviceable backup, which is what Frederick is now. And a fourth round pick. 
I'm going to accept that. Boom. Like it? Not really? Maybe? All right. Center. All right. Let's have our uh, offensive coordinator redo this. Triner does go into the, into the depth chart. Nice. We have a fourth round extra draft pick next season, so that's good. Any other emails? No, we got we signed one guy. We've got a couple of guys still out there that haven't made a decision yet. And we've got a couple of guy, a bunch of guys that said no because of the money. And those are guys we've already said if they don't take that offer, we're not gonna pay anymore. So everybody else is a free agent. Um all right, simulate week. We're playing Kansas City. Oh, we're not, I mean, we're 0-2, but our losses are by like, what, a total of three points? Oh, my God, I'm scared to even look at this. Only 16 first downs. Wow, he played a lot. Snow, 11 out of 13. Prescott, 26 out of 35. That's well over 50%. One touchdown, 5.4 yards a carry, two rushing touchdowns. Knowlton, five catches, another touchdown. wonder how far his was. Nine yards, so another red zone touchdown. And the one thing I'm looking for now, he did miss a 40-plus 40, 40 plus. He hit the two from inside 40, and he hit his extra points, averaging 48. We're going to lose games, I think, with this kicker, mainly because his accuracy is not great. But he's a rookie, seventh-round pick. We've got to, we've got to give him the time to grow if that's the way we're going to – and we're not going to sign Russell Erksleben in the first round, right? Oh, but this is brutal. All right, uh, seven emails, all right. Trade talks canceled. Yeah. All right, Jeff Heath signs. Not, uh, Clarence Fine is the only one I think I may rework. So let's go ahead and go to his contract by punter. Again, I, I, I wish to God there was some way. Because I, you know, I'm going to submit that offer. Well, you know what? Let's go up to 670. There we go. We'll give that a shot. All right, everybody else, I'm not worried about Sim the Week. Two points again? Holy fuck balls. Couldn't put one in here. Vasquez, Vasquez, Vasquez. Prescott, 25 of 43. Three touchdowns. Only 3.9 yards a carry. No rushing touchdowns. Knowlton, six catches, 50 yards. Two touchdowns for Cooper. One touchdown. Who's Doyle? Oh, is that the, that's the, uh, yeah, that's that kid from Iowa with the pink locker. Uh, yeah, so he got a touchdown. Nice, nice. Vasquez, three of three, one of one, 42.8 average. How's Denmark doing? I want to open you. Stats, uh, three starts, 19 tackles, halfway to a career high, five misses. 34 targets, one pass defended. There are 26 catches allowed. Al, 12 kick returns, 23 and a half yards. No interceptions. All right, well, 
Chubb, how's he doing? Our big free agent signing. 24 tackles. Two pass defended. All right. Oh, what about... Um, nope, don't see. I, I was looking for the other cornerback. All right, emails. God, you guys suck. Just sign the freaking contract. All right, Sim Week. This is brutal. I have to fire my head coach. Damn. I mean, Prescott's not playing bad. Ship, Oliphant, Vasquez, two of two, one of one, 42 yard average. Chubb, six tackles, one for loss. Denmark, three tackles, one pass defended. I don't think we're playing horrible, but man, we suck. Jesus. Oh, and four. Wow. Wow. All right. The Packers. There's a win. All right. All right, Vasquez hits a 37-yarder. Randy Ship from Prescott. Cooper from Prescott. Zeke with a run. Clarence Fine kicked a field goal. I wonder why that would be. Why would our punter be attempting a field goal? Did our guy get hurt? Did he tear a quad? Kind of need to find out about that. Uh, Reuter came in. Nice. 17 of 31, that's probably his worst percentage of the year. Two touchdowns, still a solid rating. Cooper, 6 for 110. Knowlton, 3 for 28. Oliphant. Okay, I, I'm, I'm a little confused here. Denmark, Denmark led the team, and he got his first pick. For the club, nice for the team. We're not that we're not a club. This isn't football manager. This is pro football. Not that football manager isn't also pro football, but this is pro throwing football, not foot football. Anyway, moving on. Nothing to see here. Why? Player report. Yeah, yeah. All right, fine signs, nice. Vasquez signs. All right, I didn't go through those last week. All right, roster. I mean, did he, did he? Migraines, come on, dude. Byron Jones, stress fracture in the foot. Where's my kicker? Hello, there he is. Depth chart. Special teams. Um, okay, I have no idea. No clue. I have no idea why my, why my punter. Hold on. Ow, God. I need to get more padding in my chair. More padding in the chair, please. Just gonna open that. Yes. All right. So, I have no idea why my punter took an extra point and a field goal attempt. Vontez Perfect. Just out of curiosity, what do you guys think about Vontez Perfect being suspended for the season? 
I have no issue with it. I know the hit itself, this one in particular, did not warrant a season-long suspension, but his track record over all the, you know, seasons, finding him has not done any good. All right, week six. This will be the last week. And a three-point loss. They score 14 points. In the fourth quarter, including a five-yard touchdown pass with three minutes left to win. 20 out of 33, no touchdowns. That doesn't help. Ship, Cooper, Knowles, four for 50. So he's he's playing a role in the, in the receiving game. 24 catches out of 37 targets. That's pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with him as a pickup. Vasquez, he missed one from 40-plus, but he was 4-for-4 four four inside of 40. Live with that. Not happy with that. He, he gets the money, and now he can't kick anymore? All right, Jones is back. Chubb. Got an interception from Chubb at the linebacker position. Knowles had a fumble. Knowlton had a fumble recovery. Nice. Oh, shit. 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 We're not looking good, boys. We are not looking good. Not looking good. Where's the standings here? All right, so the Lions and the Bears are four and two. Saints are five and one. Who's their quarterback these days? Depth chart. Oh, that's fine. I uh, you, um, I was just curious who who their quarterback was. No, not at all. Can we go back here and look? Maybe. Where's the Saints at? Saints. There you are. Show score. Box score. Who's this guy? Edward White. No, oh, okay. He was uh, drafted out of Ohio State. His second year, third year of, exp of uh, playing. Yeah, cool. Looks like he got injured last year. 66%, 17 touchdowns in six games. Holy shit. All right, let's just, just for comparison, I want to look. So accuracy, intelligence are high. Arm is also high, but it's not his be-all, end-all. I think that tells us that that's a pretty accurate Look at the cell. Shit. 17 touchdowns. Is that uh, Aaron Murray from Georgia? It is. Eight touchdowns, five picks, accuracy, intelligence, but he has an arm too. But that showed maybe the 75. Not a big difference. Not a big difference. Anyway, so that's interesting. Uh, Back to standings, if we don't mind. So the Saints are doing well. They replaced Drew Brees, and looks like they're doing fine. Giants are 5-1. and one. We are already four games back. Two games out of second place, and three games out of the wild card. That sucks. I would say our season is over. We're not going to make the playoffs this year. Seahawks are five and one. Rams four and two. Over in the American League, three and two for the Ravens. Steelers and Bengals are struggling. Colts five and one. Dolphins five and one. Patriots zero oh and six. As are the Broncos. Raiders and Chiefs four and two. Um. Team. 
Oscar statistics contracts team schedule there we are uh, no I want the Cowboys thank you team schedule so a one-point loss a two-point loss a two-point loss a 10-point loss, a win, and a 3-point loss. That's 8 points separating us from being 4-0 or 0-4 in those four games. So the only bad loss was to the Skins. We did beat the Packers. Man. We've had a big slate of road games here, but two of our losses were at home. I don't know. I don't know. And, you know, the, the that's the one thing with, you know, with NFL is you can't really go in and fix anything. You know, when you put your team on the field, it is what it is, right? So... You know, we just need to go on a run and try to claw our way back into this thing. I, I'm going to say the season's over. We're not going to make the playoffs. Uh, we're 13th in scoring, 17th in pass in, in defensive uh, scoring, 17th total yardage, 15th rushing, 16th passing, 15th in total defense yardage, 23rd against the run. 12th against the pass. Mm -mm -mm. Not happy. Not happy. Uh, let's see. Statistics. 63% for Prescott. Nine touchdowns, four interceptions. I'm not not disappointed in that. I mean, that's actually really good. 495, five touchdowns, five yards of carry. Four yards of carry for the backup. Maybe maybe a few too many fumbles. 33 catches for Ship. Knowlton with 24, 466. Six of six. Oh, that's uh, that's not uh, kicking. That's what I wanted. So nine of twelve. That's not good. I mean, that's that's nine points, right? And we just said we were eight points from four four wins in those four games. So we could almost attribute all of our losses. To our new kicker, right? I think clear kicker kicking accuracy. I'm going to sign him to the active squad, $300,000. Uh, so we're going to have to go to our roster, roster management. Let's auto adjust. It moves Vasquez. So he can go to the practice squad. He can practice. He can get better. I'm okay with that. And then he is making I'm going to sign him to a half a million dollars. See if he'll take that for an extension. 
So we'll upgrade our kicker. We'll see what that does. Looks like they did bring Ruiz down. I really don't want to do that. But you know what? Let's go with it. Because, again, the way I wanted to play this is I'm signing the players, but I will let the coaches make the roster decisions as far as starters, depth charts. I'm okay with that. Um, so let's go to depth chart. And we have a new kicker. I'm going to let the head coach make that decision because his job's on the line at this point. Defense. Okay. And special teams. Head coach. Boswell. All right. So we have a new kicker. We haven't fired our kicker. We've sent him to the practice squad. Right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look. Well, I didn't really see anybody this year, right? I'm going to go look at some young free agents, see if anybody jumps out that maybe I want to try to develop over a couple of years and put them on my practice squad because we can have eight or nine people, right? So if I have the cap room, I just assume take advantage of that. So I'm going to do that off camera. We'll come back next episode. We'll get into the next, uh, the middle section of the season, weeks seven through seven through twelve. That would be right. That would be six weeks, and uh, we'll see if that if this kicker change makes a difference. Hit the like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and we'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Bye.